Namaste, everybody. Um, wasn't going to do this. Uh, just sent it to separate friends that I have in Florida. Um, I didn't show my husband because he has... Uh, he's still not over Hurricane Sandy. Um, but I had a dream yesterday. And um, I feel called by spirit. My spirit guides specifically to put this out. Uh, it's going to be a short video. I know I always say that, but I have plans and I just want to do it quickly. I was listening to, before I leave the house, I'm listening to the Weather Channel and Spirit said, didn't you put the video out? And I said, no. I put a video, a prayer video out for Florida. But Spirit, Spirit said, no, the dream, you dream. And I said, I don't want to upset people. And I don't want to make people scared. And they said, people need to be safe. And if you, you know, some people listen to me. I don't have a big, big platform. But I have 5,000 on my platform. And that's much smaller than a lot of people. Um, but I've been around since 2019 doing the YouTube streets stuff. But I've been a psychic since I'm um, practicing psychic um, and empath since I'm about seven, eight. So I think I have to do it. Okay. So I'm just going to describe to you what I had. I have it time stamped in my notebook. Is my notebook. Okay. So upon waking up Monday morning, August 29th, 2023. Don't forget that there's a super blue moon coming, okay? Or it might be today. All right, I'll tell. The only thing that means is everybody who has a little bit of psychic ability or empathic feeling, a lot of things will come to light. You will be able to speak to your spirit guides. My spirit guides have been talking a lot more than I used to hear them. I'm hearing them every day, several times a day. Um, without even talking to them, without even asking them. Like a lot of times I'll say, Spirit Guides, what am I supposed to do? Uh, was I supposed to work on my art today? Was I supposed to go to the movies? Was I supposed to, you know, what am I supposed to do today? Um, but I didn't do that today. I just was like, oh, okay, let me set up my day. And they said, did you do the video yet on your dream? And I said, no, I did a prayer. I said a prayer. I didn't mention about my dream, but I didn't show. They said, you must show it because it can help some people. So here it is. On, upon waking Monday morning, August 29, 2023, I saw the scale north, south, east, west, right? So I, that's why I put the scale up there because I am very geologically challenged, but I'm from the East Coast and I've been to Florida. I know, I I know a little bit about Florida, okay, um, and the East Coast because being from New York. Anyhow, um, what I was feeling is, so the 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 storm is coming in from the west, and this is what I saw, and. Another reason why this is important is because before we had Sandy, Hurricane Sandy, um, I had three dreams just like this. This was the first dream. This was the first dream nightmare pushed me out of bed. I've been getting out of bed at 10, 10, which is my mother's birthday and my spirit number, a.m. or 10, 20. By 10, 20, I'm already out of the bedroom, okay? That's not right for me because I go to bed very late. Um, I have trouble sleeping and I usually do my work, my readings and things like that. Um, even my art at night. So to get up early if I don't have to go to work or an appointment, that's kind of big, big deal for me. So it's like literally there's no sleep. I cannot go back to sleep. So... I got up, I got my book, I started drawing my dream. I couldn't tell Devin about it because he, like I said, he has a phobia of, with um, hurricanes. Um, anyhow, so I drew it and I saw 
three, this is supposed to be Florida. Sorry about my bad p drawing. This is supposed to be the peninsula of Florida. Up over here is the north part of Florida. So there will be three waves. That's what I saw in my dream. Um, this is allegedly because this is based on my dream. So just to help people and I hope, you know, that everybody is going to get safe. Everybody in Florida uh, and also be careful in North Carolina and Georgia. I'm not even going to go into that, but the main place was Florida. Um, water will make land disappear. And the three waves, the third one will be the worst one. Okay, so the waves come up, and it seems like the first one will be worse, you know, the worst one, but it's not, because it kind of goes back. It comes up and goes back. It doesn't have that much reach. Um, and so then the second one will be even further in and not go back as much. And I don't... Granted, I don't really understand the weather. I don't really, I'm not a meteorologist. Uh, I'm just telling you what my dream is. There was words I had to look up because I did not understand what Spirit was telling me. But the third one, it might, it might not look right in the picture. It's just that there's nowhere for the water to go because there's water over here. I think, what, the Atlantic Ocean? There's water over here. And then this is the land, right? I should have colored it in green. Um, but anyhow, so please get inland and try to get into a high place, um, especially like Sarasota, uh, Tallahassee, um, something that starts with an A. Um, I don't have a map in front of me. I'm just thinking about what Spirit tells me. The trees will be uprooted and um, like actually... All right, so the tree is like some palm trees are like this, and they can't snap in half because the precipitation, like they're rubber. It's like they're rubber, according to my dream. And so when they, the first scoop of wind, the wind is going to be terrible. That's the wind is so dangerous. So the first scoop um, will just bend them over. But then the second scoop, it's almost like the wind is going to come back in a different direction and actually uproot trees and uproot um, roofs. A lot of roofs will be coming off. Okay, so that's what we got to be careful. I got thousands of homes gone. I got people will lose their cars, definitely. And you might say, hey, Trina, this is what happens during every hurricane, tornado, um, earthquake, you know, this is not, you're not, this isn't a psychic thing. Okay. Whatever you take from it, it's not a psychic thing. It's, I'm just telling you what I heard from spirit, what I saw, and I didn't want to see it. And I didn't see Maui. I did not see Maui. I didn't see what happened in Maui. Okay. I did not dream of a fire the night before. Otherwise, I probably would have came on and I had my picture. This was, you know what it looks like? Uh, just like my dream, my three dreams that I had before Hurricane Sandy came was a tsunami was coming down the street. A tsunami was coming down the local street in a zone that was not near the beach, okay, which was my... Uh, which was Devin's house before we were married. He lived in on on a street in an, like a nice neighborhood. I lived in an apartment a couple of uh, like um, two miles over, but I was closer to the beach. I was in a bad uh, zone. So I went to his house to take coverage and be with him so I wouldn't be alone. And you know, he had all the animals and everything and his two kids and um Turns out, that was the street I saw in my head. I kept telling him, he was in Texas. He was in Texas because he was taking his daughter to look at colleges. And so he got on the last flight back home. Um, but he would tell me, it's just a dream. You have bad nightmares all the time since I know you. Um, 
there's no way that we can have a tsunami. Don't worry about it. I was like, but it was your block. It wasn't even my block. It was your block. It was right out here. Your house block. And he was like, that's okay because we're not in a bad zone. Well, guess what? That wave came from who, where, uh, you know, the beach. Or it came from the rain, or the per amount of precipitation of the rain. Anyhow, I'm seeing a tsunami again. Is That's what I'm seeing. So, like, this is a hurricane, but now I heard in the morning when I checked on the um, storm, I heard that there's a whole bunch of tornadoes that will be coming up. So, hurricane is different from tornadoes, so we're going to have both. All right, so that's why I was saying prepare, okay? Um, let me know what else I wrote. Okay, so the first wave I got was four to seven feet. All right, not too bad. The second wave could be from five to nine feet. And then the third wave I got from nine to 13 feet, okay? Um, and now I really believe it could be even taller, bigger, okay? Um, and then this is what I had to look up. There will be a lot of back flooding. I didn't understand what that meant. So I had to Google it. Basically what it means is when there's no wa the water, it depends. Computer. What is the definition of back flooding? As a noun, back is usually defined no, as no. Backward Computer, stop. Computer, stop. Computer, what does it mean weather-wise when you have back flooding? From Jujin.cn In the context of water or liquid, flooding back can mean that water or another liquid flows backwards, often due to an obstruction or change in pressure. Yep, change in pressure. That's a big, keep that in mind, guys. A change in pressure, right? It's, this, is, this is, video is already too long. Okay, so there will be a lot of back flooding heard specifically from when I was drawing this up heard that from spirit and I was like what's back flooding okay so because there's so much heated you know it's hot in Florida but then there's also a cold front or just a change in pressure like they said and there's nowhere for the water to go so the water just rises and floods whatever's here you know, I see cars floating and things like that, especially a red car. And I mean, I, I could be attributing to what happened to our cars. We lost three cars. I just had bought a new car and it was red. Okay. Um, the wind will be up to 75 to 78 miles per hour. Now, I wrote all this down. I was watching the Weather Channel. I was like, oh, this is incorrect. They're, they're not going to have this. Right, but I said I'm glad I wrote it. I only showed it to maybe two friends. I I sent it to one friend in Florida, because she knows me since you know for many many years, and she believes in my abilities. Um, and she was also homeless, so she needed to uh, find a place that she could stay with her son and her grandson. And hopefully she did that. But now as the storm is getting closer, see 90 miles per hour. 90 miles per hour. You think I'm lying? I would never lie to you. 90 miles per hour. significant threat Mike Bettis alongside Felicia Combs look at this thing on satellite getting more and more impressive more intensification throughout the day today certainly expected with that rapid intensification we've seen it over and over again and there's nothing atmospheric in the way of 
this storm rapidly intensifying. In fact, those warm waters of the Gulf act as basically fuel for these storms. They really do. As See the warm the show, with the meeting the cold. Back flooding. He said everything is there yeah. for this to happen. Anticipate maybe even intensification right up through landfall. So it's going to be a major threat through tomorrow morning. Yeah, now's the time. If you haven't already started preparing, you have to get prepared immediately. Well, here's what we know about Hurricane Idalia this hour. Evacuation orders have been uh, issued in 22 Florida counties. Governors in Georgia, South Carolina, Georgia, and South, South Carolina, Carolina and North Carolina. States of emergency. More than 5,000 Florida National Guardsmen have been mobilized ahead of Idalia. Tens of thousands of linemen are staged and ready to 90 miles power. per hour. And Mike, with the forecast that we have, we are expecting widespread power outages for millions of people after the storm. You know, once you look at that video right there, because that's Cedar Key, and those are some of the restaurants and businesses right along the Gulf there that are going to be in extreme danger of storm surge. People are boarding up their homes and their businesses, and they need to, and then evacuate, get out of town, because the water's going to come miles inland, we believe, here yes. through the big bend of Florida. But get out of town if you can. Unfortunately, could be if you can. By Hurricane Adalia, especially with the current Maybe forecast, go. it could be a 125 mile per hour hurricane at landfall, if not stronger. Mm. Uh, 90 miles per hour right now. So we've got a category one hurricane, mid grade category one hurricane, uh, 974 mm. millibars, north movement of 15 miles per hour. You can see some of the outer bands up in here, up in here that have produced some severe weather for us today, and there will be a tornado threat. You can see the convective band up in here. One of those bands came through Tampa, Mike Seidel was talking about. It. it got really rough, six, seven minutes, and then it was gone. So we were showing you a satellite image before this one. Now we're showing you the radar image. So this is land-based, and the a radar beam shoots out and shows you all the precipitations falling from those clouds. You can see the velocities as well. You can see where the center of circulation is right in there. It looks like a little tiny pinhole of an eye is trying to form here. We haven't seen that in the satellite yet, but more indications on radar than on satellite. All right, so some of the storms have cleared you in Naples and Fort Myers. Now Belgley, back toward Okeechobee, will be a risk for some thunderstorms. Some pretty good convective thunderstorms there with a risk for some high winds and maybe even brief tornado touchdowns as well they're going to happen very quickly a lot of times okay these things fit i'm not here to off. make you scared i just wanted to show you my dream um i i would stay on longer but i have to go use the bathroom uh because i just had some coffee uh, anyway i love you all i'm praying for everybody um i hope i didn't upset anybody but when spirit tells me you gotta show them you gotta say it that's why i did it i have something else to tell you about me um but i'll come back love you guys be careful be safe get the high resolution modeling of where the hurricane goes and notice by tomorrow morning about nine o'clock we've made landfall see the key like cross city cross city Paris. Perry. over by perry i-10 then through lake city jacksonville notice here all the surge the really intense surge is going to happen on this side and the closer you are to the eye on the right front quadrant puts you at huge risk so that's going to be an 